Hello, we are going to take a look at how to send scores from Google Classroom to Infinite Campus. The first thing to do is to connect Google Classroom to a course in Infinite Campus. You go into settings for any course and select the matching Infinite Campus course code and section number. You can only link one Google Classroom to one Infinite Campus course. That means if you are doing this, you should have a Google Classroom for each section of your courses. This also means that it would have to be the teacher of the course in Infinite Campus that creates the Google Classroom. Once the connection is made, you can start exporting assignments and scores from Google Classroom to Infinite Campus. Go to the Grades section of your Google Classroom. There you will see a button in the corner that says SIS Export. This is our place to manually export any updated assignments or scores over to Infinite Campus. You do not need any scores entered to start the export to Infinite Campus. Here we are going to export an assignment with no scores yet. When a Google Classroom assignment is newly connected to Infinite Campus, it still needs to be categorized. This category selection only needs to be done once per assignment for a course. You'll see a small notification at the top of the gradebook telling you how many uncategorized assignments need your attention. Select from the available choices which category you wish the assignment to go into. If multiple assignments were listed, you could choose different categories for each one if necessary. We can see what transfers over from the Google Classroom assignment. The description, title, due date, and points possible all come over to Infinite Campus. Once an item is scored, that score will also come over. We'll look at that part soon. Notice that just marking the scores in the grade section doesn't update the assignment. Google Classroom won't recognize the score as final and ready to update into Infinite Campus until the work is submitted by the student and then also returned by the teacher. Now we have updates to sync. We click the SIS export again, and our scores will transfer over. Only the scores that had new information were marked in Infinite Campus. The empty scores from Google Classroom had nothing to update. I can mark missing, late, or any other flag here in Infinite Campus for the empty boxes. Once there is a score from Google Classroom to update those boxes, it will overwrite or erase the flags and that are marked and replacing it with the number score that I export from Google Classroom. I show an example of returning all student work for these assignments, including those that had not submitted. This is not likely to be a situation for teachers, but I wanted to demonstrate how the scores will change those marked missing to a numerical score. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out other videos for helpful tips.